This is Damien. Damien is from Lawrence, Kansas, and he is just like you or me. Another soul encased in a human shell, surviving day by day, never ultimately knowing for sure where he came from or where he is going. Without the knowledge of what exactly it means to be a living, conscious, breathing, intelligent life form, living upon a sphere of biological life orbiting a star on a spiral arm of a galaxy, neighboring billions of other galaxies contained within an indefinite area of space, it is impossible for any of us to determine for sure what we are supposed to be doing with our lives. All we have are our interests, disinterests, friends, enemies, memories, hopes, and moments to supply us with a relative sense of purpose at best. I suppose it is possible that some may truly know, but I have never met one of these extraordinary individuals in my entire life, and even if I did, I'm not sure if I'd recognize it. So it is with this lack of understanding of the universe, I present to you one of the many personalities sharing this planet with you at this very moment. I urge you to use Damien as a mirror, so that you may grant yourself the opportunity to ask, what are we here for? trash can in 13 degree weather. I have. I slept outside all winter. Are you homeless? Yes, I am. The fuck happened to your place? Didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? Were you in love? At first. Then everything came crashing down on my world. Was it hard? I'd rather not talk about that right now. Damien currently lives in a narrow cinder block shaft underneath the parking garage between 10th and 9th Street on New Hampshire Street in Lawrence. One must jump over a staircase railing, falling five feet down into a trash-filled pit in order to gain access to Damien's lair. In it, Damien has the essentials, a pillow, a blanket, tobacco, a small cooking device, pennies, and Pringles. Damien does not share this space alone, however. Upon entering the shaft, one is greeted by a host of creepy crawlies, such as rats, roaches, beetles, and cave crickets. Home sweet home. That's why this cardboard's down right here to cover up the bones and shit. There's bones and shit under You're here. You're supposed to say no, there aren't any rats down there, Damien. Oh, there are no rats. There aren't any living rats. Which is a good thing. These are pennies? Oh, yeah. Oh, there's spider. That's a, is that a bad spider? No, just wolf spider. Will it kill me if it bites me? No. Will if it was a brown recluse, it would. Okay, well, uh, hopefully there's no brown recluses down here. No, they're house spiders. Okay, well, I'm turning this into a house. So, uh, you got a razor? Yes, that was when I was being clean-shaven for a minute. This is my backpack. This is my mobile home for if I'm not down here. With all my clothes and shit, and I need to get them washed because this ended up in the puddle too. And shit, I woke up in a puddle, right? And all my tobacco, it was 5.30 in the morning, my tobacco and shit gets um, washed away. I wake up at 5.30 in the morning, no money, no tobacco, soaking wet, and it's like 44 degrees. Because, like, I've been wearing these khakis for, like, you can tell for a while. Due to raggedy clothes, lack of cleanliness, and nothing but the streets to call their home, it would appear that people like Damien are without a substantial source of income. Certainly, there are people in the world that make a far better living. But when taking a closer look at Damien, I found that an insubstantial income for many is perfectly substantial for some. As the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. In an ideal setting, one's income should match the cost of one's needs and desires. Since everyone has different needs and desires, everyone has a different cost of living. On one hand, especially in comparison to the standard upright citizen, Damien has fallen on rough times. On the other hand, he never seems to be without that which he desires and needs. Oh, you have been smoking Halloween? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Marijuana also known by many names such as weed, pot, cannabis, chronic, sensi, green, sticky, icky, the dub, dope, the bomb, irie, the fire, green grass pastures, and bud, is a potent psychoactive plant which has fascinated and terrified humans for thousands of years. 
While many users of marijuana have reported ill effects, it seems that the majority of negativity surrounding this plant comes from those who have little or no experience with it. This is in part due to the fact that it is illegal to smoke, obtain, or possess. Nevertheless, Damien and many of his friends are frequent users of marijuana. Here they call it, they call us Who's got the hat? In Damien's view, marijuana is a necessity, keeping his mind at ease and his bipolar disorder at bay. Conversely, perhaps the lethargic after effects typically associated with marijuana are part of what keeps him on the streets. We may never know, but in Damien's mind, one thing's for sure. A friend with weed is a friend indeed. He's not quitting anytime soon. With the hard economic times we live in, one has to wonder how people like Damien make enough money to support their habits. No. Why? Thank you. God bless. Of course. Yeah, God bless. With this day and age, with this economy the way it is, it's extremely hard to find a job. They ordered a dollar. Oh, I got gotcha. you. You owe a dollar, man. No, I... <laughs> Good job. Yeah, I'm getting put on YouTube, too. Still staying clean, man? Trying to at least. I'm getting ready to go to rehab. <laughs> Alright, so the obvious next question that I have to ask is so you're not really going to rehab? No, I'm not really clean and sober, which he asked. Oh. It's a fat chance in a million. It's actually been two and a half days since I drank, and I drank like a pint today mixed in with one drink, 32 ounces. Try about two fingers deep vod or two fingers deep Mountain Dew and lemonade, and the rest vodka. Slam. Did you know my liver hates me? Everyone has a dark side, what Carl Jung called the shadow. The shadow is the part of ourselves which society has taught us to reject and regard as unacceptable. Nevertheless, just as the moon and the sun share the same sky. Our negative and positive aspects both share an equal space within our being. While acting out one's shadow is not always the best decision, it is dangerous to reject any part of ourselves, good or bad. Damien plays the role in society as the quintessential tongue-in-cheek shadow. While much of his life is inherently negative, I cannot help but admit that after I am in his presence, I am usually left feeling better than before. What does the Buddhist monk say to the hot dog stand vendor when he goes to order a hot dog? What? Can you make me one? Whatever. That's so horrible, but funny at the same time. <laughs> Furthermore, we have cheesecake. Cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> And then we have this guy. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I'm not supposed to say anything. I'm actually just the cameraman. I'm not very funny. And I'm not very smart. So, these two do the talk. I concur. <laughs> I'm so fucking smart. I make Stephen Hawking look like a fucking retard. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I'm strongly opinionated. <laughs> Damien is the lovable fool who gently reminds us of our inadequacies and limitations through the light of his own actions. Perhaps Damien hasn't fallen on hard times. Perhaps Damien is serving his purpose in life right now. Whatever the matter, it is important that we look upon ourselves with the same eyes of discernment that we may use to look upon Damien with. We must ask ourselves, what are we here for? As for the future of Damien, it's just as unpredictable as anything else. Therefore, Expect the unexpected.